Rotation about origin. Rotate the following figure 90 degrees and 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. Now we are given a figure, a triangle ABC, which we need to rotate about origin O in clockwise direction. So clockwise means that is the clockwise direction, right? So this is the direction in which we rotate. So after rotation, this will have a new position of exactly the same shape and size that means a congruent triangle will be there but at a new location we need to find the new location of this triangle that is the exercise for us so before that let's write down the current location so what are the coordinates of points a b and c a is 1 2 1 down so 2 for x and minus 1 for y point b is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 down. So 4 minus 3. And point C is 1 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Right means positive, minus 4 down means negative. So these are the current positions for the vertices of the triangle. Now if we rotate them 90 degrees clockwise, then what will be the position? So let's try to understand that. So we have to do 90 degrees clockwise rotation, right? So whenever you do 90 degrees clockwise rotation, the X and Y points get changed. What is the change? The change is that they swap. Y becomes X, X becomes Y. So that is the first thing, right? And the second thing is, whenever you do a clockwise rotation, the sign for y changes, right? That means this changes. So that is how it becomes. So let's do this transformation and then write down new points. So new point should be for A, let's call it A dash as the image of A after 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So we'll swap the points. We'll write x first, which is minus 1 and then 2. And next step is change the sign for y. So the y is 2 here will change the sign to minus 2. So that becomes the new coordinate for A and which we'll, we are calling as A dash. Let's locate this on the figure itself. So A dash is minus 1 minus 2. So minus 1 and minus 2. So that becomes the position for A dash. Let me write A dash here. Now let's calculate position of B rather b dash the image of b so let's interchange x and y so it becomes minus 3 and 4 and then change the sign for y so it becomes minus 4 and the location should be minus 3 minus 4 1 2 3 minus 3 1 2 3 4 so that is the new location for b rather b dash how about c dash position should be minus 4 and 1 with a negative sign. Correct? So minus 4, minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, and minus 1. So that is C dash. Let's join them. So that is how our new triangle is going to look. This triangle is exactly of the same shape and they're congruent. The only difference is their position has changed, right? Since we rotated them, 90 degrees clockwise. Now let's do 180 degrees clockwise. So when you do 180 degrees clockwise, what happens to the original point? The transformation is, if the original point is at x and y, then their signs will change. They become reverse. x becomes minus x, y becomes minus y, right? And now we can write down these points and then plot them on the graph. So we'll have A, let me write double dash as the image after 180 degrees clockwise rotation. So it'll be, we'll start with 2 and minus 1. We just change the sign because minus 2 and 1. For B, B double dash will be minus 4 and plus 3. And for C, just change the sign, minus 1 and 4, correct? And now, let us locate them on the coordinate system. Minus 2, 1. That means 1, 2 
and 1. That is the point A double dash, correct? B double dash is minus 4, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3. So that is B double dash. C double dash is minus 1, 4, minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, correct? So that is C double dash. Let's join them. So that is after 180 degrees rotation. Now there is a way to check these things. 180 degrees you can always check by drawing lines through the origin. If you connect A and A dash, for example, let's do that. Then what happens? Do you see that? It goes through origin. Do you see that? That means it's 180 degrees rotation. Connect C and C dash. If you connect C and C dash, that will also go through the origin itself. How about B and B dash? B and B dash, just connect them. So 180 degrees rotation means the point is reflected about the origin. I'll show you with the help of a set square, you can check 90 degrees rotation. Well, a set square has 90 degrees for the two edges, right? So you can put the corner of the set square at the origin, right? And then move it so that you can align your points. As you can see now, in this position, you can see B and B dash. And this was the original thing you moved clockwise. That is your clockwise movement. And that is 90 degrees clockwise, correct? Similarly, you can check A and A dash, right? So that is the position which checks A and A dash. And similarly, you can check also C and C dash. So just align, put the vertex on the origin, and there you go, C and C dash will match. So if it matches, that means the answer is correct. And that rotation is 90 degrees clockwise. So that is how you can also check your result. So with this video, you learn two things. One, how to rotate clockwise. Whenever you do 90 degrees clockwise rotation, just interchange X and Y points and then change the sign for the Y point, right? So you get your answer. For 180 degrees, just interchange the signs. So don't swap, just change the sign. 2 minus 1 will become minus 2 plus 1. You get 180 degrees. And then lastly, you also learn how to check your result. If you draw a line, through your image point and the original point and it goes through origin, then it is 180 degrees. If it is at 90 degrees, then you can use your set square as I showed you. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.